All right, hello everybody. I'm back. Um, it's been a while. Um, I was battling the flu, so I was gone for I don't know. I was gone for a few weeks, you guys. So um, I'm still a little sick. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but I can barely hear anything. Like my ears are still covered, like stopped up. So I'm back out here, and. Um, like, I tried making some videos for you guys, but <clears throat> I don't know. It all went out the window because I got sick. I was sick for like three weeks. Um, so I'm just going to like do like an update with you. Um, just kind of go around and show you what I did before I did get sick. Um, and just kind of catch up where we were i think the last video i did I, I was doing the seeds back there and they all came up and they all came up really really nicely um <clears throat> so i'll probably insert a picture or a video of that like because i did come out here a couple of times and um like before i did get sick i i did some work out here a little bit <laughs> so i'm going to show you that today i'm just going to walk around and show you the disaster that my backyard currently is and um the good and the bad and we are going to be planting daffodils in florida i know so that's going to be weird because i've never done this so i got these at lowe's maybe like three four weeks ago and i put them in the in the freezer first because i know like they're supposed to go through like a chill phase so i put them in the freezer and then my friend was like no put them in the refrigerator because that's actually well actually she she sent me like a like an article or something and she's like put them in the refrigerator not the freezer so because they come up better so i don't even know if they're gonna come up because i don't think i'm in the right zone for this but i'm gonna try because they're super pretty and i'm gonna see if they actually come up i'm in zone this is this is Rockledge, Florida. So this is like like zone 10. I think the new zone is zone 10. It used to be zone 9B, but <clears throat> I think it's zone 10 now. So we'll see. So I'm gonna plant these out today and just show you guys around what we've been doing. And yeah, that's it. Okay, you guys, so um the first thing is the bed that we planted out the last time. Um, there's a whole bunch of oak leaves in here. Like I said, <clears throat> it's been a minute. Um, so this is the bed. Um, and everything that we planted did come up. I just, I need to transplant some more stuff out of here. I did the corn and I'll show you over here that I did the, I'll show you guys that later. Um, and this is... Those are the hollyhocks. They're still really small, but you know, they're up. Um, this is the delphinium, and I hear they come up really slow. So, but they're coming, which is the most important thing. They emerged, but I hear they grow really slow, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, so we'll plant those out as they come up. This is This is that invasive Chinese orchid thing. That comes up everywhere in my yard. If you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a mess. Alright, those are the zinnias. This guy's doing great. Um, those came up. Jalapenos. The the, the mammoth, I believe. Um, <clears throat> these are my tomatoes. Pineapple tomatoes. Put that back in there. Um, these are the beets, lettuce, cucumbers. I did put out some of these, like I did transplant them. Um, so, but I still have to find somewhere to put all of this. So that needs to be done. And then the sweet peas came up, which I'm really, really excited about. Those are the flowering sweet peas. All right, so that's that. So if we come over here, <laughs> This backyard is a mess. Oh, we did clean up the pineapples, like um, cut the bottom, and pretty much all the pineapples I have right now, there's a, ba a baby pineapple coming up. This one, we didn't do those two, but two pineapples are coming up over there. Um, <clears throat> and we 
cleaned out the pineapple patch right here as well. So, and we have pineapples coming. One, sorry about that. Okay, so we have pineapples coming. One, two, that one is new. That's a newly planted plant. Three, four, and five. And these are newly planted. So we did clean those out so that they're more spaced, arid, whatever you want to call it. Some new plants right here. Um, so this is what I did. And um, I may insert a video of me like cleaning this out. Like I did take the grass out of here before I laid this dirt down. Um, but this is the corn and they're really not looking too good right now and I don't know why. I did water them a lot yesterday. Like I said, I haven't been out here a lot, so I don't know. I don't really know what's going on with them, but yeah, these are my corn. I hope they just, they're going through their phase where they're just transitioning into their new environment because they don't look good right now this is like my first time doing corn so i really don't know this is um this is um like sawdust i got it from a friend of mine they own a, a business and they deal with a lot of sawdust so they gave me some sawdust i figured it might help keep the moisture in i really don't know um yeah <laughs> and then um so what i did was this is all corn all the way down and then at the front here i did some onion bulbs so those should be coming up soon so yeah this is the this is the corn patch so i did plant out tomatoes are coming along really nicely too um i planted out some more corn in this bed it's a little bit smaller here and here it looks like weeds but they're not they're corn um planted some corn there and i planted out the cucumbers here so and those seem to be doing okay so that's that and then i planted some more corn over here tomatoes and sunflowers are doing really well and um I think that's it. Okay. So, I guess I can, <clears throat> I guess I can section these out. Let me see how many we actually have. Let me see if they actually give us 12, you guys. I don't know. So one, I guess this is considered one. I don't know. Could be one, could be two. I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we got 12, so. Let me, I don't know if I should group them, like in bunch, I think I'm going to group them. I think they look better if I group them. So, I could do four bunches of three. I think that would be pretty. Or three bunches of four. I'll do four bunches of three. So I'll do one. Two, three, four. Okay. Let's that out. Okay. So, and then maybe like. I'm looking at the cat behind me. I'm looking at the cat behind me. Let me show you guys what he's doing.
Hey, Milo. Hi. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, I don't know if I should. I was thinking, um, like, later I could, like, plan something else in between them. It's crooked for some reason. There we go. So, I think I'm going to do it that way. So, I think I'm going to put the camera over here. Yeah, there you go. So you guys can watch me pretty much do all of them. So I'm just going to dig a hole. I'm just going to dig a hole. Kind of space them out a little bit. Kind of dig down. I don't know, this isn't great dirt, but it's not bad dirt either, so... They said three, almost three and a half inches. So, just gonna dig and cover. Dig and cover. If I run across, if I run across a worm or a snake, I'll be the first one gone, just to let you guys know. <laughs> I don't like that stuff. The other day I was out here and um, I was in the front bed and I was just cleaning it out and I ran across, there was a tiny little snake, it was a snake because the wood was moving, it was this big, like that big and it was black, it was a little, really small and um, it had a like an orange band around the bottom of its head. So. I don't know what kind of snake that is, but it freaked me out even at that size. So, you know. You'll know. You'll know me as time goes by. I think that could be a little bit deeper. So I finished watering the um, where we did the daffodils. So I'm gonna show you guys like how I fertilize my vegetables, not necessarily the plants in the nursery, um, which is like non-existent right now. Like we have no plants. Uh, <laughs> we will in like a month or so. Um, but just my vegetables and like the flowers and stuff, like like this stuff. I'm gonna show you what I use. Um, and I'll probably, this is like a really old bottle, so you probably can't like read it, um, but it's fish emulsion, fish fertilizer they call it, but it's fish emulsion. Um, I'll put up like a picture of the fish emulsion and what is the other thing called? Osmocote. So that's really what I use personally, me. Um, this smells really bad. <laughs> It smells really bad but it's amazing in terms of your stuff growing yeah, look in there yeah so it's basically ground up fish guts so there we go so i don't really measure they give you measurements on the back um <coughs> sorry <coughs> like for vegetables so these are all the things you can use it for you can use it for vegetables shrubs root vegetables outdoor trees like they tell you all that stuff here and they tell you how much you're supposed to use right and then what is the third and then it tells you how much it covers so i don't really go by that i know that's not no um i just pour it in here um, depending on how much I want, like that, I just kind of eye it, 
and I don't really have a lot left. This bottle, this bottle, when um, I used to work at hardware store, Ace Hardware, um, this bottle was like $18, $19, like three years ago, four years ago. Now it's almost 30. So <laughs> I try to make it last as much as possible because um, it's expensive. Same thing with, with the Osmocote. Like, I don't know, some of you may know what Osmocote is. Again, I'm going to put a picture up. Um, but I use the pink one, like the long pink bottle. That used to be like $11. Now it's like 18 or 22 or something crazy like that. But anyways, <clears throat> so I put some in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. And then I just add water to it. Let me go get the hose. I just add some water to it. I do full like on the hose because it kind of mixes it in the bottle. So I just put it on full. <laughs> And before it spills over on you, just kind of eye it to see where it's at. And it does foam. Like it foams up like that. If you see the foam in there. So it's not like when the foam, where, where the foam is at, it doesn't mean that it's full. It just means that's where the foam is at. Sorry, man. So, just use the hose, get the foam down. There's a crack right here. So <clears throat> that's pretty much what I saw. And um, so let me show you how I fertilize. It's very simple. Okay, so we're by the corn patch. So I literally just pour it. I don't like do anything special. I just pour it on the plants, um, like, like a circle around the plants or on the plants. It doesn't really matter. So I just pour it. And again, like, it smells really bad, <laughs> but it goes away in like a day or two. And it also depends on how concentrate you use it. Like if you use it like really concentrated, it's gonna smell super bad. But if you don't use it super concentrated, like if you follow the directions on there, you probably won't smell it as badly, but I don't. So my backyard smells like fish for like two or three days. <laughs> okay, you guys, so um, I'm by this bed. Um, it's like the front bed, I guess. And so there's like two ways. I'm just taking off the, the messy leaves off this tomato. Like this, <clears throat> it'll spread to your other leaves, like your other nice leaves. So I just take it off. I'm not really sure what it is. I guess it's like um, black spot or something, fungus. So I just take it off when I see it as much as possible. And it does help to keep the tomatoes like with air flowing through. That does help. So you really should clean up your tomatoes. You shouldn't let them get too overgrown. You should have like air passing through as much as possible. It keeps the leaves healthy. So, the plant, um, if anything, it helps it. But yeah, just take off all the, the nasty looking stuff. If you guys can see that, it's not too pretty. Okay, so that's done. 
one more. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> that's done. So what I was gonna show you guys with this, right? So you can put this at the root or you can like put it on the leaves. It, it soaks it up either way. So if you wanna, and it does make your leaves like greener if you're having problems with that. Nitrogen is the best thing, honestly. But if you have this and you're just going around your garden or whatever, it does help your leaves too. Just, you know, keep that in mind. So I just pour it on the leaves. Like so. And there's another one. Pour it. And that's it that's pretty much the video you guys so thank you for watching this video and um you know listen to me ranting and raving on um if you want more of my content please subscribe and like and share <laughs> and i'll see you guys later bye